Good morning everyone, good morning my lecture, Pak Arief as my lecture of entrepreneurship or kwirausahaan and in this occasion, I want to present about business plan, startup checklist and before that, I want to introduce myself my name is Reza Marcelena. my student number is 2201419005 And I'm from Rumble Entrepreneurship or Kuirausaan 107 on Monday at 1 p.m. So I will start my presentation. The first is introduction about my business plan getting started. The first, conduct a personal evaluation to determine why you want to start a business. So, I want to start my business to fill my spare time while studying online right now. And in addition, by starting a business, I can learn how to do business well. By doing this business, I can increase my daily income. The second, create a business plan. Uh, there are three questions about create a business plan. The first question is what do we do? The second question is how do we do? And the third question is who do we serve? Okay, I will answer these questions one by one A what do we do this is the first question um, I will answer the first thing that I do is to observe what products people often buy then I choose the items that I will sell and then I decide I decide to become a reseller or do, or dropshipper because I don't need to spend capital on stock items. And then the second questions: How do we do? Okay, uh, the first I join in resellers WhatsApp group from the closest supplier. And then I sell it by uploading the products in my WhatsApp and Instagram story. And when there are people who want order, I instruct the customer to make a payment first. After making a payment, I ask the customer to fill in complete data containing the complete name, telephone number, and address. And after everything is complete, I place orders for the customer to my supplier. I pay according to the bill from the supplier with the money from the customer. And then, the supplier prepares the items and does the packing and also delivery according to customer data. Deliveries are made on my behalf. So, I don't need stock items and just at home by selling online. This way, I can get a profit. Okay, uh, the third question is, who do we serve? Based on my business, I think it's intended for all of gender. This is women and men, and all age. Starting from the children, they can buy school bags, teenager who want to look cool, and also for young people to old people who always follow trends and want to look fashionable. They can wear this product, Jimson, such as bags uh, like backpack, sling bags, and handbags. Or also uh, and also wallets and then watches for couple and many others. 
and then we can see the picture of the product this is for example this is sling bag uh, and many other kinds and also this is mini bag and uh, it just for example because many other kinds and then I have cute bag for children and women so they are promo and many others they are wallet this is many kinds this is various and many others wallet and then I have watches for women and men and I have backpack uh, for school or work it useful and then there are tumbler and power bank tumbler uh, it's so useful it can save our art by using this tumbler and power bank uh, if you need in urgent situations power bank can help you you will need it and it is useful and then the third conduct as SWOT analysis to identify your strengths weakness opportunities and threats SWOT analysis the first is strengths this brand has been around since 2014 until now, so the quality has been proven. During the pandemic, Jimsani can still survive even though many other brands have decided to stop production. Affordable price with good quality are also the strength of this brand. And then the second is weakness. During the pandemic, we have to sell online, so there are some customers who complain about the delay in delivery. The third is opportunities. Because of COVID-19, many people do activities at home, so they spend more time by using social media. This gives them the the opportunity to see my selling products post more often so that at least they they know if I am selling or when they want to buy they know where to buy the fourth is the trades many people sell the same product so I have to provide better service so that it brings in loyal customers the fourth assess how much capital you have available to invest okay uh, I'm a reseller to become a reseller or drug shipper I only need capital such as handphone quota and also social media so I don't need stock items so I minimize the capital they are pay for and then fifth discuss your plans with family members to ensure they are behind you uh, I think my family members had agreed when I started my business they supported me to have a business because my business has a small risk therefore it is still safe for me the sixth determine if you want the business to be full-time or part-time 
For right now, I want to take part time because I know that my priority is my education. Is my education. So my business just be my. So my business just be my part time. Okay, and then. Commit into your business. The first divine the customer problem and how your business can provide a solution in a unique way. Okay. <clears throat> the customer problem is caused by pandemic or COVID-19, so the potential buyers decrease. And then my solution to handle this problem is by selling the promo products and it can increase the sales the second is determine determine viability is there a market for your service um, my answer yes the, there is a market for my business through whatsapp i can share and sell my products in there and actually i prefer upload my products in whatsapp because i'm more comfortable with people that i think they are the people closest to me and then the third will your business be relevant as time passes how will you adapt because I'm just a drop shipper, so I won't feel lost because Jimsoni products will grow as time passes. It had proven that Jimsoni still exists from 2014 until now. Define your market. A. Who is your ideal customer? My ideal customer is everyone in every cir circle who has work and has income. B. What's your market size? My market size is starting from my closest environment, such as my family, neighbors, and friends, and also to all cities uh, in Indonesia. C. How easy is it to acquire acquire the customer actually it is easy but in this situation pandemic is so increased and the government may make a rule such as stay at home which is cause the candidates of customers to choose to stay at home so that they didn't need a new fashion item but promo which is provided by Jim Sunny is so big so it is made everyone choose to buy promo's product because the price is so far more than normal price even though they didn't need it and then the fifth create a quick financial plan identifying cost and forecast sales to see if your capital gets you to a profit uh, i'm just a dropshipper so i don't need capital then i have a price lift from the supplier i'm just sell the products at price that have been set by the supplier and the profits can be obtained from the difference in the selling price minus the reseller the reseller price And then, and then, setting up your business, select your business name, perform a corporate name search to make sure your name is still available. Okay, my business name is Reses Jimsoni21, and I make account on Instagram to upload the products of Jimsoni in there. If you can visit on my on my Instagram, the address is rz underscore chimsani21. Marketplace. Uh, this picture about 
uh, my story in whatsapp uh, and my instagram rz underscore jimsani 21 so i think that's all from my presentation thank you everyone thank you for watching goodbye